Hey everybody, Aaron here with AV Astronomy. Today we are going to be talking about this V-Boney SV501P wide angle short refractor. This is a great first time telescope for a kid or even it can be even for an adult if you're just, you know, you've never had a telescope, you want to just see, you know, is it even something I want to get into and you want to put in minimal investment. This is a great scope to look at. So let me show you. My assistant here is going to hold up the scope so you can see. Yeah, now's the time you come. You can grab this. You want to, the camera's that way, so you got to hold it up. Well done, sir. There we go. This is the box of the Sviboni SV501P. So, thank you, sir. You're good. You can put it down, bud. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to do an unboxing and take a closer look at this telescope here shortly. So, in a minute here, we'll open this box up and take a closer look. All right, there it is, guys. Let's take a closer look at this telescope. All right. Okay, so it comes in a nice little zipper bag here. Okay, looks like we got some ice piece. Looks like we have some eyepieces, manual, this must be the tripod right here. And here is the scope. Let's go ahead and start with the scope. And this was sent to me from SV Boney. SV Boney. All right, that's going to be for the finder. Take a look. There we go. 70 millimeter lens there. And you know, it's mostly plastic. So again, this isn't going to be one of those scopes that's totally just screaming quality, but this is going to be one of those that's just a nice grab and truly grab and go scope. So you literally can have this permanently set up on the tripod and be ready to go. So let's see how this tripod looks here. Okay. Not bad. All right, it's got a mounting plate right here. Just mount it on the bottom. So there's your adjustable arm there. Right here, side to side. Okay, that's cool. Move the bag aside. Let's get this set up. So it's got two thumb screws here that hold this little cap in place. There we go. And let's see what we got here. Let's see what kind of eyepieces this comes with. All right, there's your finder bracket. And that'll mount up here. Now, I'll be honest with you, any other time I've used scopes like this, these types of little finder scopes really don't, I never really found them to be that useful, but maybe this one will be a little bit better. Always did better without them. All right, so you get a 20 millimeter eyepiece. And I will say that these are at least one and a quarter inch eyepieces, which most of the time with these you know, cheaper first time refractors, they usually have the, I think it's three quarter inch eyepieces. They're even smaller, so that's good. And here's your right angle erecting prism. Just put that right in there. My phone's blowing up. Sorry about that, guys. Tighten that down, the thumb screws. 
There we go. Loosen this one and let's see what we got here. Let's any other eyepieces. That looks like we only get a 20. That's still cool. So the way you figure out magnification is you divide focal length by the millimeter eyepiece. So this is 400 millimeter with a 20 millimeter eyepiece. That means you're going to get 20 times magnification. So this will be good for wide angle viewing. Let's tighten that down, get that thumb screw in there. Which, you know, for lunar views and even some like wider angle views of say Jupiter or even Saturn, some of your smaller planets maybe you won't see as much, but let's get a, so there it is guys set up. That's, that's it. This is super light, super portable. We'll see what this get the uh, picture quality is of this scope. Okay, so this is it set up, guys. I mean, as you can see, it is this is super lightweight. I don't know how much this weighs in pounds, but it's you know it can't be more than like eight pounds or so, maybe even lighter. But this is this is truly a grab and go scope. Um, if you're just wanting a quick you know, quick night of viewing without the fuss and messing around of getting all your major gear set up. And if you're not doing astrophotography, this might be an option for you, you know, on nights where you just want a quick view of the moon, maybe Saturn or Jupiter, maybe even some daytime terrestrial viewing would be good with this too, as maybe a bird spotting scope. So let's give this thing a roll and see what kind of views we can get out of this. Now the weather here has not been very favorable it's cloudy of course this always happens when i'm doing reviews of telescopes i'm sorry but and it's not look and it's not looking like it's going to be clearing up anytime soon so we'll just do some like see if we can catch some birds in the trees or something or at least look at some foliage in the trees and see what kind of sharpness and resolution it looks like this scope is going to put out so let's do that so let's take a look through the eyepiece and see what this thing can do Not bad. This is me just holding this up to the eyepiece. Now I look through it personally and it's actually a bit sharper than what you're seeing here. A good bit sharper. I was surprised. Let's check out another target. Now I don't know if you can see it in here, but obviously there's going to be some color fringing. It's minor, but it's there. And some distortion around the edges, but overall for I think around 70 US dollars for a quick grab and go for our something on the fly or, or something for the kids to get them started in astronomy this this is a, this looks like a winner to me so I was really hoping to at least get a lunar view to put on the video for you guys but it's just not working out um, I waited a couple hours it's still still cloudy and according to the forecast it doesn't look like it's going to be changing anytime soon so you know not a, not a whole lot to say about the scope in terms of you know are you going to use this for astrophotography of course not i mean you could try out and fool around with some ip stuff or put your phone up to it and maybe get you know if you're lucky get some halfway decent images out of it but that's really not what this is intended for like i said if you're looking for a inexpensive true grab and go because you can literally just grab this set it on the table and point and focus and you're you're looking at stuff you're looking at the moon you're looking at some of the planets and you're getting some decent views like i said you're going to see a little bit of color fringing and, and that's to be expected i mean these are plastic lenses so you're not it's not like you're looking through an ed or apochromatic telescope but overall, I'm pleased with this. I've seen other scopes like this before, you know, from the makers like Need, Celestron, and others. And the overall quality of it seems pretty good. I mean, there is some, there's a metal base plate here. There are some metal parts on this. It isn't entirely plastic. So kudos to, to Sviboni. I'm really liking what they're putting out here lately. So, well guys, that pretty much concludes the video. Um, if you found it helpful, useful, interesting, please like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, 
If you're ever interested in the type of gear that I use for my Astro photos, I've got some links in the description down below uh, to Agena Astro and OPT telescopes to help get you guys started on the right foot. As always, guys, thanks for watching and God bless. Until next time, clear skies. Thank you.